Motorists can hardly drive at 30 kilometers per hour on the pothole-laced 3.2 kilometer stretch of road. The dusty road, with its bumpy ride, has been a major source of distress to both residents and road users. And uh, this will go slowly, we go slowly. So, uh, and then our shops, and then and then, and then springs, we this we had this in troubles. But this narrative is changing as progress is made in dualizing the stretch of road. <laughs> Small bridges connecting networks to the major road were all being done. In addition to the covered drains, pedestrian walkways along both sides of the road are taking shape. The development make these users the project is a pre-financed one undertaking by Ghanaian construction company Oswell Investments Limited. Its managing director Humphrey Williams tells City News his team has worked day and night in the last six months. He is confident the project to be completed long before its deadline. In the next um, three months or so, when you are back here, you will see a massive change. You will see black on the ground. Uh, that presupposes that we are nearing the end. We'll be able to do nine months, I'm sure. Highly optimistic. What used to be a 6 by 6 meter culvert is now a 20 by 40 meter culvert to accommodate the dual carriage road. Contractors tell me that this drain will be dressed so that after this road is done, no matter the downpour, the road doesn't get flooded. For City Newsroom, Caleb Kuda, reporting.